primary issue with flare-ups for COPD, if you acknowledge that each flare-up further damages your lungs, is the prevention of flare-ups. So, uh, first of all, if you are at risk for COPD, you don't want to smoke. If you do already have COPD, uh, you should pay attention to the guidance being given to you by your primary care doctor or your physicians. Be compliant with your medications. Uh, understand the medications. Understand how to utilize the various inhalers or other medications that are prescribed. Uh, you should be attentive to your global health, your weight management. Uh, your you should participate in an exercise program. So healthy weight and an exercise program and a balanced diet all contribute to maintaining a robust um, body state that would reduce your risk for a COPD flare. And most importantly, if you do have COPD, prevention in terms of preventing infections. Now, Infections are always in the environment and particularly in the fall and in the winter, we are going to be at risk to develop the usual winter viruses. Influenza and of course the other common ones, the RSV and the para-influenza and so on. Of course, still out there is the coronavirus. So my advice is that you should work with your primary care team on a preventative construct so that you're up to date with your influenza vaccines, so that you're up to date with your RSV vaccine if you're a candidate for it, so that you are um, up to date with all your vaccines globally and that you're managing your health in a global sense.